Would you like to know how you can calculate the derivative of all functions you will ever encounter? In this video, we'll set up the basic framework which will allow you to do so. This week, we have learned a mathematical definition of the derivative as a limit. Calculating derivatives using this limit is typically quite difficult. Therefore, we like to have simpler rules of calculation so we can calculate the derivatives of more general functions than just the standard ones. What functions do we encounter? Well, we know standard functions such as polynomials, the sine and the exponential function. And we have rules to combine them, such as taking the product of two functions. Subsequently, we can create more complicated functions by taking combinations of standard functions. For example, e to the x times sine of x. And by taking more complicated combinations and even more complicated combinations. The grand plan for calculating derivatives is the following. First, you learn the derivatives of the standard functions. And second, you learn the rules to calculate the derivative of combinations of standard functions, such as the chain rule. For each method of combining functions, we want the rule which tells us the derivative of the combination in terms of the simpler ingredients. In the future, whenever you need to differentiate a non-standard function, you can analyze it to determine how it is a combination of standard functions, apply the rules and use the derivatives of the standard functions to obtain its derivative. Together, this implies we need to know just a few derivatives and a few rules to be able to determine the derivative of infinitely many functions. If you learn any new standard functions at university, you always want to discover what its derivative is, so you can still play this game for functions which involve this new standard function. Likewise, for new methods of combining functions, you will want to figure out what this implies for the derivative of the combination. You will learn the rules of combination in the next video, but first you can review the derivatives of standard functions by doing the exercises. Good luck!